Here's how you correctly perform the air brake test. First and foremost, your wheels should be already checked as you normally do at the beginning of your pre-trip inspection. Air brake test starts with charging the air system to the maximum pressure. In order to do it, I wanna perform a safe start, which means my seat belt is on, my brakes are set, my transmission is in a neutral, I depress the clutch, and I turn the key half away and look at the ABS lamp, which is right here. Now I can safely start a truck. And I'm gonna charge my system to maximum. I'm going to turn my engine back on, just on accessories, so I can see the reading on my gauges. That's another chance to check your ABS light right over here on the gauges. Okay, now I'm going to start with the first part of the test, which is a leak test. It's the static test. What I'm going to do is release my parking brakes and observe my gauges after initial drop as you can see they going down after initial drop we're gonna wait for a one minute and I can lose no more than 3 PSI during that minute okay after this test pass, I'm gonna proceed with a dynamic air leak test. I'm gonna put my foot on a brake as hard as I can. And again, after initial drop, I'm observing my air gauges and I can see no more than four PSI of the air loss during that minute. Okay, after the air leak test pass, the next test will be alarm test. What I'm gonna do, I will be stepping on the brake back and forth and depleting the air system. And I am looking for the alarm to come on my gauges or somewhere on a dashboard, low air warning alarm at or before air drops to 60 PSI. <laughs> As you can see, it just happened. I got both alarms coming on my gauges and also I got an alarm coming right on my dashboard. The next test will be button test. I wanna make sure that my emergency brakes will be activated when the air pressure drops to somewhere around 20 to 45 PSI. So I wanna keep my eyes on the buttons right now and I will keep depleting the air pressure and I wanna see them popping out. Here is the red one, which is the trailer supply bar. Also, tractor protection though. Here's the tractor emergency brake. So this test pop, pass. Right now, since I don't need my wheel chucks anymore, I'm gonna go in there and remove my wheel chucks. Okay. Right now I will be checking my compressor. I'm gonna be checking my pumping rate 
I will be checking my cut out pressure and my cut in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to again perform a safe start. Yet another chance to check the ABS light. I'm going to start the engine and at the operation RPMs, which is about a 1500, 14, 1500 RPMs. I'm looking at my gauges and I'm waiting for the air pressure to reach 80. And the air pressure will have to build from 80 to 100 PSI in the 45 seconds or less. trailer brake I want to I want to check my service brake which is my foot brake first we're gonna start with a spring brakes with our parking brakes we're gonna check them individually first I'm gonna take my check my tractor brake so I am going to release my trailer give it a couple minutes give it a couple seconds in order to release them I am gonna place a transmission in the lowest gear in the first gear and I will try to ease slightly of the clutch and see if the tractor spring brakes are holding me. As you can see, they do. Now I'm gonna do reverse. I'm gonna set the trailer brakes and release the tractor brakes. And I'm gonna again, slightly ease of the clutch and see if the trailer spring brakes are holding me. As you can see, they do. Next thing, I'm gonna check my independent trailer brakes. I'm gonna release my parking brakes. I'm gonna slowly release the clutch. So we are in motion right now. I'm gonna re put my foot back on the clutch and use independent trailer brake to stop 
The very last thing, I'm gonna repeat the same thing with my service brake. I'm gonna release my foot from my clutch and put the vehicle in a motion. I'm gonna step back on the clutch about a half away and step on the service brake. Notice any, you know, uh, strange stopping, pulling to the one side or anything. And that concludes the air brake test.